this is just a quick little video on showing you an example of pretty much pole targets breaking your inverse kinematics. So for example, I have my IK set up here for the hand and no pole target is set and it's set to this hand IK here. And as you can expect, it moves around, you know, as expected. Now on this side, I've done the exact same thing, but I went ahead and set the pole target. Ignore the pole angle, it's just really kind of far off. So when I want to move it, I end up with this issue. The, uh, the IK just kind of breaks. Well, it doesn't break, but it doesn't work as intended. So to give you an example again, I want to go ahead and set the pole target for this side, and now it's broken. And the reason for this is the arm is actually straight, and that goes for actually our rest pose and everything too. You can see the arm is completely straight. So we need to add a bend in the elbow so that way the pole target kind of knows what it's doing and where it's going to pull from. Like it, like it has to have a source to bend from. So we're going to be altering this pose, or the rest pose, and then reapplying everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and just hide the IK. So now it does really nothing. And we're going to go ahead and alter the rest pose. Well, actually I want to, wait, yeah. I'm actually going to reset the IK, but just disable the pull targets. So now they both bend like normal. Ugh. So we're going to go ahead and set it. So I'm going to go into side view here. Actually, front view. It's like both. Press G. Go up. Make that just one. I'm going to go in just one. And then forward just one. So that way it's got a bend in it. And same thing for this. Go in one and forward one. Then selecting the hands, just going to give them a little bit of rotation to match. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And they're now in the, well, they're the same spot. So I'm not really going to set this up, you know, perfectly, but now we're going to go ahead and apply the pose. So I'm going to select my mesh, go to the modifiers tab, and here we have the armature modifier. I'm going to hit apply, select the rig, go into pose mode, make sure everything's selected with A, and we're going to press F3, or do you just look for rest, and you'll see apply pose as rest pose. Press that. Now we go back into object mode, add an armature modifier, select the rig, select the armature, go back into pose mode, and everything's still working, but now when I set the pull target, you can see it actually it bends and the pull target actually works. So, same thing for this side, it's all working. So, that's one way how you can resolve your um, pull target breaking your inverse kinematics.